Hey guys, it's my morning and one of my students had a problem with one of my courses. The Docker course, Docker Fundamentals, where I also show them how to use Portainer, which you can do use for managing uh, images and managing containers. And what he said was, when I start the Portainer uh, Docker container, because we're also running this in a Dockerized environment and want to go to the UI in the browser, I get the message client send an HTTP request on an HTTPS, HTTPS server. So that was very strange. My guess is that something with the browser, but nevertheless, I want to make sure that I can replicate it and then know how to fix it and maybe also update it and, and add some information to the lesson so that other students don't get the same problem. So let's look into this. The idea that I gave the student is, okay, go in and try to use another port because when I go into my, into portainer, he used port 9443, which is the HTTPS port. And there is an option to actually add here port 9000, which is a HTTP port. But I just want to see here if this works for me, how it was with, with my thing. The only problem that I already see, I'm a d um, because I'm dumb, I used latest here. I usually don't do that, so I need to cha actually change that. I need to update the image and test if it still works because if a student does this six months from now and latest has some changes to what I showed, then I'm in trouble. What I do is I bring up a PowerShell. I go to my drive here. Um, documents, GitHub, uh, Docker fundamentals. And then I do a Docker Compose up. Ah, oh, man, I'm, I'm rusty. How was that? Yeah. Used by container. This one here, you have to rename that container or remove that. Can I delete it like this? Yes. So it's now, I know I basically started the compose file again. Okay, I get the same thing. Client send an HTTP request to HTTPS server. Okay, and if I add here H, so the the thing was in adding HTTPS to the local host here to actually access it. Now 9000 doesn't work. Um, we didn't add this into our Docker Compose file, so I'm just going to add this here, 9000, to port 9000. Save this, save. Then let's stop the container again. Okay, I think minus D was the wrong thing. And now I don't see it here, but it doesn't matter. So let's quickly try. Let's go. Let's look at port 9000. Port 9000 works now. 9443. Hmm. So what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to add here the information that they need to add in their con in their URL, HTTPS, um, and then call them and, and two slashes before localhost because I, I think that was the problem with the student. Um, nevertheless, what I want to check out here now, what which portainer version did I have? Password? Password. Okay. I had here, I wanted to see the version of portainer that I have here because I have 2.11. Let's go to Docker Hub and let's look at portainer um portainer ce that was the one i'm using let's look at tags so that's the latest tag here what tags do they have 216 that's too old 211.1 i think i have right 211.1 
Okay, so what I need to do is 211.1. So I need to add the tag in my compose file here. This? No, here, this one. I want to use this one. What's that one? Just that's why I was was confused why there was something else. Okay, Generate data. Let's save it. Close it here. And let's remove. Stop the container and remove it because I want to see if my if my code works. So this is container. So let's stop this container. Boom. No, not stop again. PS. Okay, no container is running. Let's quickly look. I, I always, for me, I always need helpers. And I always need, because I'm, I'm terrible at remembering stuff. RMI I need to do. So I need to docker images. And I need to find my what and what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all the everything that has Docker in here uh, that has portainer in here. So I'm going to delete portainer portainer. This one here. And that's Docker RMI, and then the image ID, this one here. And then I'm going to use the other one from further up. Portainer, Portainer CE here, here, this one. Also going to remove this one. Boom, boom. And let's remove that container. Remove that container. Here. Now let's remove that as well. Oh. Hopefully that was it. Okay. <coughs> so now we untacked everything. The only thing that we need to do now is we just need to go back here where we are in our um, in our Git repository or in our folder for the Git repository, and we just need to do a, a Docker compose. And it's going to then pulling the new container, the new layers, the 211. All right. Ports are started. Let's look at it. So what we do first is a localhost 443. That works. Um, admin password 2.11 local 10 stacks and so on yes so these are all my containers that was how i had it and let's look at local host 9000 also works well, i just want to see if i'm in microsoft edge i just want to see if i do here local host 9000 not 9443 this also, it's very strange that the first time it says, like here I get the same error, right? But I'm guessing if I do HTTPS and then the two slashes, then it works. It says, yes, yes, it's not private and so on. Yes, I need to, I want to go further. And I'm there. And I'm guessing if I now close, if I now close that window, or open that again, and do the same thing it automatically yeah it's automatically finding it so it's it's uh it's remembering my choice and that was that was most likely also the issue for the student um nevertheless so what i did is i went on i first found out how it worked for me and i also in the beginning had the same error because i didn't add HTTPS before it, but once I once did and then accepted and said yes, yes, I'm, I know it's not safe, it's not secure, then it worked. So I think that I need to 
what I need to go now, I need to go into my um, I need to go into my school, and in the school I need to add that as a as information basically to that lesson where we started up started up. Let me let me do that. So what I do is I go to my school, I go to the curriculum for that Docker Fundamentals course, and I'm going to go. It's completely down here somewhere. Managing containers with Portainer. And I had additional resources here. But what I what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to add a text. And I'm saying here make sure to use in the browser this URL. HTTPS slash slash localhost dot uh, no, 9443 9443 to access the UI. Let's make this fat here. Alternatively, um, alternatively, use the port 9000 for HTTP access. So then I do an add here, and I'm going to put this buff the video. Um, let's add here something like tips. Or note. The save. And then I can look at here. All right, and here's my video. And with that, we're done, right? No, we're not. Because we've made changes to the code. So I need to I need to push it to GitHub. So what I need to do is, for me, I always work with GitHub Desktop, Docker Fundamentals, Docker Compose. So you see, can see here now, can we make this bigger? No, we can't. I'm going to do this in the editing. Um, I added the 9000 port here. I actually didn't change, no, I didn't change something here. That was most likely, ah, the return. That doesn't matter. And then I changed latest here to 2.11.1 so that everybody is going to run the same version that I did for the course. Now I need to uh, make a commit here, so I'm going to say here, yeah, add a port and version. Changed image version to specific number, not latest, and added port 9000 as option to access the, the UI via just HTTP. Okay, let's commit this, push it, boom, 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 and then that's, uh, that's over. So, with that, now on GitHub, for my students, everything is replicated. I tested it. It works um, as I thought it would. So most likely, the only um, the only problem was that I didn't use HTTPS in front of it. Yeah, this is day-to-day -day work here with an academy when you help students. You get questions over Discord, you're looking into them, um, try it out if you can replicate the same error. So we were actually able to replicate the same error here, as you can see, but the solution was pretty simple. But nevertheless, I then improved the whole thing and uploaded it and made a comment to the lesson. And now students are not going to fall into the same trap again. Pretty cool, right? So, all right, that was it. See you later. Maybe I add another information what the student did if I hear back, when I hear back from him uh, over Discord.